Rhyperior. Because some Rhyperior have the ability Pure Rock, which... Oh, go with one. Dick hole. How is that going to help? You should use the Hyper Potion. You saw how much damage Surf did. Jeez. And like hell if I would touch it, that, po that Nidorino has the ability Poison Point, which basically poisons any Pokemon that touches it. Now, as I was saying, yes, some Rhyperior have the ability Pure Rock, or Solid Rock, which basically makes it a pure rock type, even though it is partially ground, rock ground type. So moves like Ice, no, moves like Surf and Giga Drain would be only half as effective if it were used on a regular rock ground type. And it also gains the extra boost from those attacks, say Earthquake. Er, since it is a ground and rock type, solid rock doesn't factor into that. So it would still get the status, it would still get the power boost, because it's a single, it's the same type. But, yeah. Other attacks against it would be half as effective. Heh, you must be running out of steam by now. Whoa! Cool trainer Yuji. Yuji? That's so Japanese. Yuji! It's no way related to- holy shit. I didn't mean to do that. I thought I was still on my- Now I wish I had hit it. Hate Pokemon that needs accuracy reducing attacks. I hate it in any game. Accuracy reduction. You're a Raveler. Better not explode on me, you little cunt. Well, it seems the cool trainers in this gym adhere to the ground type specialty. This guy seems to have an array of ground type Pokemon. In the manga, Giovanni explains that he chose the ground type because it's like the earth, and the earth doesn't move, it's absolute, or something like that. But it was very philosophical, the way he said when, it, when he was talking about the Earth. And heck, even when Red beat Giovanni, that shit was epic. He had it on his little leather gloves he stole from Lieutenant Surge, and he threw his Pikachu that was storing 10,000 volts of electricity in it. It was amazing. Yes. All right. Yeah. See what I mean? Nipple tickler doesn't get that much training done here. Roar! I'm working myself into a rage. Like a Pokemon rage, or isn't a just rage rage? Atsushi. Atsushi. Atsu. Yeah, Atsushi. These are some Japanese ass names here. I don't know if my game broke or if this is the first time I've actually noticed these people's names. But these are some Japanese ass names. Next thing you know, the next person I fight is gonna talk in katakana. Pokemon and I, we make wonderful music together. Okay. You're a tamer. You're not a musician. You dick. Lick. Eat my psychic.
31 minutes. We're definitely gonna make it to the end of this gym and possibly into Victory Road even. And from that point on, it will be the end of the game. Yes. We will be on the verge, the horizon of the end. Wait, no. Not even the end. This is like three-fourths of the way through the game, actually. There's a lot more after this. A lot more. But of course, I need to capture 60, po 60 Pokemon in order to make that happen. And I need a total of... 32 more Pokemon. Now that's gonna be a cat bitch to catch. I was about to say that's gonna be a catch to bitch. Again with that dyslexia shit. Truly talented with my style. Great. Warren! Ha! That's my middle name! That's that's janky. Oh, I need arena? Uh, I wasn't really paying attention at all. Too much? Um... Sure. Oh, look at that. The other one had a little king. This one has a little queen. How wonderful! Lost my grip! Oh, Grip on what? No, seriously, on what? No, I, don't, I don't understand this game. Alright. So, send out Jose, and we make sure to kick this guy's asshole up here. I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me. Oh, oorah. And who in Takashi? That's the name of the main character in High School of the Dead, a rated R anime, full of a lot of fan service. So much fan service. That anime just didn't know when to quit. And what's even more, what, what's more stupid about it too? I mean, besides the gr gr gratuitous, that's what I meant to say, gratuitous amounts of fan service, is that the main character doesn't even call them zombies, which they are. They come back from the dead. They have rotting flesh, everything of the sort. He doesn't call them zombies. He calls them them. That's what he calls them, them. Those things. They don't call them zombies, which they happen to be basically mindless puppets bent on one desire only, and that's the desire to feast. And they've been doing so. And quite frankly, that enemy doesn't explain where the zombies have come from either. It just goes, hey, look, they're zombies. Let's make a, high a bunch of high schoolers survive against a zombie apocalypse, and let's make them all have big breasts and have lots of fan service. Yay! That's pretty much what the creators were thinking when they made that anime. Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again, so be it. This time I'm not holding back. 
Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer in all of Kanto! Now this is a setting fitting for a duel of great trainers, indeed. Doug Trio. Yeah, this guy's gonna fall pretty quick. That Doug Trio's gonna beat it in speed. Never mind! Jeez, that, like, lightning badge, whatever my Bob badge that was, is pretty handy. Ha! Huh. In two more levels, if it gains two plus in the attack stat, it will have all 100 attack. I mean, all 100 stats. That's pretty impressive, actually. Even though it's happened multiple times whenever I've played this game. Even with the Charizard, which normally has low defense and special defense. That the moment it gets to level 50, its stats are pretty beefed out. Your Pokemon are falling left and right, you know this. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to specialize in one specific type of Pokemon. At least with blue and gold and silver, and the very last gym leader you have to fight before you can fight red, he had an array of Pokemon, not just... That should have been a ride. This thing should have been a Rhydon. Why isn't it a Rhydon? Heck, even blue, or um, 5 cent, the rival that I named this guy in this game, um, has a Rhydon by this point. Ha! That was truly an intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. Can you sense the sarcasm in my voice? And you get a lot of money. I think he runs away too. Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. Received TM26 from Giovanni. It is Earthquake. It ha is a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here far too long ago. He made it? You can make TMs? Holy shit! If you can make TMs, then why the fuck doesn't she do it? Is it like some super dangerous process or something? Some illegal shit? Is that why? Holy fuck. If you can make TMs, man. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like me to suckle on your balls? Yes, I would. Suckle, suckle. Suckle, suckle. Congratulations, your Pokemon are at full health now. Suckle here again anytime. We'll be glad to suckle on them. Okay. Let's go onwards then to the Pokemon League! Shit, I jumped over a branch thingy mobop. Thingy bloop. Alright. We're gonna shave ya because the rival is just around the corner. We're gonna switch Pokemon too. We're not gonna start the fight off with Hot Spunk. We're gonna start it off with a Nipple Tickler. Come here, Gary, motherfucking Oak. I mean, Five Cent. What Dick Rider? What a surprise to see you here. So we're going to the Pokemon League. Hey, you collected all the badges too. I wonder how many people you had to fuck to get those badges. That's cool. Then I'll whip you. What? Ah, oh, kinky motherfucker. Alright, rival 5 cent would like to battle. He sent out his pidgey hot. Thing looks fat. I'm gonna break it with a thunderbolt. Yes, I think I will need to go get a thunderstone before I challenge Lee for totally. I mean completely. Because Nipple Tickler needs a little um, boost in power. And that Thunderbolt should have totally killed that Pidgeot. But no, Nipple Tickler wants to be all like, I heard a dirt a dirt a dirt. I heard a dirt. I heard a dirty dirt. Rhyhorn? Yes. I will switch. Oh, I thought you would.